Today's another day of hope. Nobody can take my hope away, and nobody can give me hope like the hope that I get from Jesus Christ every day of my life. We call this a day of hope because sometimes we forget it. Sometimes we get pulled off with stress and stress and frustration in our life, and we forget that there's a day of peace that God has for me today, but he is preparing a place for me where I will have peace for eternity, and that's heaven. And I want you to know, if you're under stress, if you're under frustration, I have five observations about stress for you. Number one is this. Every person has stress. So let's get this in your mind. Everybody has stress. And if you're sitting by yourself today, don't let stress be your destructive thing. Let hope, let happiness, let joy. Stress is for someone else, not you. Give that stress away. Number two observation about stress is stress can be positive and stress can be negative. You make it what's best for you. If stress is weighing you down and you're walking, oh, me, oh, my, what am I going to do? That's bad stress. The good stress is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I'm not by myself. He is with me. Number three, third observation about stress is I look for my hope. As much of stress is not necessary. Why worry then? Most of the stress and most of the anxiety we have and frustration, you know what? It never comes to pass. So much of stress is not necessary. Why worry? Number four, the fourth observation about stress is when stress becomes a strain, when stress becomes a strain, then it becomes harmful. Give it to the Lord before it becomes a strain on your life. Some stress helps give up direction, but when you don't let go of that stress, it chokes you. It chokes you. I haven't ridden horses very much. I remember as a kid, well, I was probably a young adult, last time I rode a horse, that a horse kept turning around looking at me and trying to bite my knee. And what he was saying was, how much do you weigh? How much do you weigh, man? You're, you're heavy. I put him under stress. And then when I pulled on that strain, I put him on more stress. Well, he showed me who was important. <laughs> I said, giddy up. Did what they told me to do. You know what he did? He started walking right towards a large pond. Everybody else was over here saying, turn him, turn him. So I put stress on him. And you know what? He kept looking back at me, trying to bite my knee. He, we walked right down in that water. You know why? Because he was under stress. Not only my weight on his back, because I was pulling on that rain to stress him out. You know how we overcame stress? I got off. And sometimes you and I need to get off so that God can be in control of our life. Number five, the fifth observation about stress. We can deal effective with stress. Write that down. It says in 2 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians 4, verse 8 and 9, we are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. That's what God does for us when we have to have to cope with stress and frustration. So take your stress, take your frustration, and give it to the one who gives us hope. Father, bless us to be a blessing. Take your words today, and may they be a part of our heart and our mind and our promises. It's because of you we have our strength and we have our hope. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.